What's up CEOs? This one is for my licensed auto dealers who are struggling to sell cars because your customers don't have cash. Stop having poor cash flow and add third party financing. So over the next couple of minutes, I am going to show you exactly what you need to do to add financing to your dealership so you can increase your sales, especially in time for the tax season. All right. So that even when customers have tight cash, their cash is tight, then you still have sales. Um, so, and just for tuning in, uh, watching this training, I am going to offer you something. So if you need financing assistance or you need a plan for adding financing, then drop a comment below this video saying finance me and I will book you a free strategy session so that I can further help you with the necessary tools to put the third party financing in place so you can become a million dollar dealer. All right. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Shamel Leonard and I am making a career out of transforming everyday people into million dollar dealers. We are graduating our very first million dollar dealer this year from the program. So with these strategies of adding financing that I'm going to show you, I have helped hundreds of dealers to elevate their business and I can help you too. All right. So again, remember just a couple of minutes to add financing you can have at, you can have your financing options available for your customers right away and it can be a game changer for selling cars let me know if you have any questions all right so let's get going offering financing to your customers you already know is going to be a game changer for you cuz i know that you have bought some vehicles at the auction that were really pretty and cost a little more money for your customers and so your customers are attracted to them while you're uh while you have them up for sale but they ask you well, do you offer financing? And then you have to say no and then wait for the next customer to come that has the cash. This is wasting your time because you have to answer the phone or answer the text message telling them that no, I don't have financing. Or maybe you even get as far as the test drive meeting up with the customer and then you have to tell them no, I don't have financing. So um, yes, you already know you need financing, okay? That's one way you can make money with financing. The other way to make money with financing is to help out new dealers who don't have financing or who don't want to have financing, but they still have cars to sell and they still have customers that need financing. So there are lots of dealers out here that um, don't want to deal with the financing part. So then you can become their go-to for financing their customers and that can be another revenue stream for you and your business all right so i wanted i wanted to uh set you up so that you know exactly what is the intention of of having financing and how it can benefit your dealership what's up gilbert all right so this is literally what you need to do to set up financing all right in a couple of states, the first thing is a finance license. In a couple of states, they require a finance license before you can finance customers, okay? Not all states, but in a few states. And just off the top of my mind, Texas is one, Florida is another that requires a finance license. Georgia does not require a finance license, okay? So the first thing you need to do is apply for the finance license if it is required by your state, all right? That's the first thing. The second thing is you need a financing link because your customers are going to come to you and they're going to say, okay, do you have financing? And then you're going to say, yes, you need to send them a link so that they can fill out an application. You need to send this link. You're probably going to have this link on your website. You're going to send it probably an email, text, or maybe even post it, right? But you need a finance link. So the way to get a finance link is you can sign up with a lending software. Okay, um, there's a lending software. There are several lending software companies. What they do is they pull a whole bunch of lenders in one place so that when you sign up with their software, then you have access to lots of different lenders. Okay, it makes it easy, it's streamlined, right? Makes it easy for you to get started, set up, and to submit deals. Well, you sign up with one of these companies 
then um, you get a financing link that you can then put on your website, send an email, send a text or post. It is just as simple as that. So then once you send the financing link, then someone's going to use it, enter in their application, right? That application notification is gonna come to you. Hey, you got a new finance application. You then need to review the application. What are you reviewing it for? Accuracy. Because you know, customers, if they really want a car, they'll tell you anything, okay? So you need to make sure that all the things that they tell you in the application are actually uh, verifiable uh, before you send it to the lender, all right? Um, and let me back up a bit because the financing link, once you sign up with the lending software, you then need to make sure you sign up with the lenders, okay? That is important. I was like, well, yeah, you need to send it to the lender, but you don't have lenders yet, right? <laughs> So you need to sign up with the lender so you can have lenders to send your uh, applications to, okay? And then the lending software will make that very easy for you to do. Okay, so uh, just a quick recap. Finance license if your state requires one. Financing link so you can send to your customers. Sign up with lenders so you can have lenders uh, for your customer to uh, for to approve your customer, okay? That's the same place as a financing link. And then you need to review the application for accuracy um, and to make sure that everything is verifiable. So they make what they say they make, they live where they say they live, they work where they say they work, okay? Uh, any questions so far, let me know. All right, so then once you review it, um, then what you wanna do is then send it to the lenders. They'll approve the customer, or deny the customer, and then if your if your customer is denied, then you try other lenders until you can place the deal. Okay, you pick the best deal for your business from the lenders, and then you finalize the purchase by satisfying all the requirements that the lender has for the purchase. It is that easy or simple, right? It's very simple. Um, there is a part in there, so the review and the deal structure and the deal shopping and uh, making sure your customer uh, it gets approved can be the the tricky part, okay? We literally just had a lesson on this in the Million Dollar Dealer Club on financing, adding financing, how to review, what to do to review, and how to find finalize the purchase, okay? So you do have assistance out here if you need assistance. But if you can take these steps and implement your financing and run with it, then do that because you need financing. I've talked a lot about financing because when I first started, financing was the thing. Once I added financing two years in, it took me two years in to add financing. Once I added financing, it was the thing that changed everything. It changed my cash flow, changed my customers, it changed my business, and it can do the same for you. You you need third-party financing, especially if you have a small budget. And you can do third-party financing even if you're in an office, even if you don't have a display space, even if you have bad credit as a dealer. Okay, you can have third party financing for your customers. So go ahead and get your third party financing in place so that you can have more sales. All right, any questions? Let me know. Okay, so I just want to reiterate don't want you to forget that I am offering a free strategy session just for watching this training because I realize that the people who are watching this training really want to get it right. They want to make it happen. They want to make it. So I want to give you everything that I can for you to make it. And if you comment below, finance me or financing, then I will set you up with a free strategy session. I will book that for you and reach out. Okay. So let's turn your dealership into a million dollar business by adding third party financing. Any questions? <laughs> All right. If you have any questions, then we can definitely answer those um, in our strategy session, or you can put them below. And if you're interested in uh, knowing what the steps are uh, written down, then you can definitely join the Million Dollar Dealer Club and have that assistance of being able to review your applications and make sure your customers get approved. Okay. 
Anything else, CEOs, about financing? I can't say enough about how important financing is. I feel like I can't close until I repeat it again. You need third-party financing, all right? You need third-party financing. You need third-party financing, all right? Again, I'm always praying for you. Uh, I am out here rooting for you. Anything you need, let me know. And um, yeah, I will give you everything that I can to help you succeed, but I can't do the work for you. You have to actually take action. You have to get the help you need if you need help. You have to follow the steps. And you have to get things done quickly, okay? So CEOs, be blessed. I'll see you next week. Um, we're we're going to talk about how to start from the bottom and come up, okay? So you have very little money. You have very little resources, but you are a licensed dealer. You need to monetize this license. What do you need to do? So make sure you have notifications on, you subscribe, you subscribe whatever you need to do so that you can be uh, notified of that video. All right. Be blessed, CEOs, and I'll see you next time. Bye.